Breaking AI news. Elon Musk has just announced that the highly anticipated Grok 3.5 is delayed, stating it's still too rough around the edges and needs another week or so before release. But what does this mean for the AI landscape? How does this impact the competition with ChatGPT, Gemini, and Claude? And what can we expect from Grok 3.5 once it's finally released? We're diving deep into this unfolding story, and by the end, you'll understand why this delay is more significant than it seems. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon. We bring you the fastest, most important AI news first. You don't want to miss this. Let's begin. Let's rewind for a second. Why was everyone so hyped about Grok 3.5? To understand that, we need to go back to where this all started. With Elon Musk's bold promise to build an AI that doesn't just sound smart, but thinks different. Grok wasn't built to be your polished, politically correct assistant like ChatGPT. It was designed to be raw, rebellious, and real. Since the launch of Grok 1, and then Grok 3 earlier this year, users started noticing something strange. This AI wasn't afraid to crack jokes, call out hypocrisy, and say what others wouldn't. And that's exactly what made it popular. Then came the teasers for Grok 3.5. According to Musk and the XAI team, this version would blow everything else out of the water. They hinted at advanced multimodal abilities, emotional awareness and responses, faster reasoning, almost instant outputs, and most importantly, answers that weren't just pulled from the internet, but formed through real logical inference. In short, Grok 3.5 wasn't supposed to be an upgrade. It was supposed to be a statement, a warning shot aimed at OpenAI, Google DeepMind, Anthropic, and even Meta. That's why the hype exploded online. Tech influencers, AI researchers, and Elon's own army of ex-followers were all counting down the days. Everyone expected May 12th to be launch day. People even speculated that Grok 3.5 would be the first model to fully integrate with X's upcoming Truth GPT initiative, an AI that wouldn't just generate words, but challenge narratives. But then, no release. Just a post from Musk saying, 3.5 is still too rough around the edges, needs another week or so. And that single sentence? It flipped the entire AI community on its head. Because it wasn't just about waiting another week. It raised a bigger question. If Grok 3.5 isn't ready yet, what's really going on behind the scenes? And that's exactly what we'll explore next. So now let's talk about the tweet that shook the AI world today. On May 12th, 2025, the very day everyone expected the grand launch of Grok 3.5, Elon Musk posted a short, almost casual update. 3.5 is still too rough around the edges, needs another week or so. That's it. No fancy graphics, no press release, no countdown reset. Just 14 words. And they triggered a flood of reactions. Within minutes, hashtag Grok 3.5 started trending on X. Some fans were understanding. Quality over speed, they said. But others? Not so patient. People had cleared their schedules. Creators had prepped videos. Devs were refreshing the API. Tech channels had their thumbnails ready. And all they got was a delay. But here's what most people missed. This wasn't just a delay. It was a signal. Because in Elon speak, rough around the edges usually means more than just bugs. It often means something deeper isn't aligning. Maybe the model is misfiring, hallucinating, or failing Musk's internal snark test that he loves throwing at Grok. Remember, Musk wants Grok to be different, not just accurate, but bold, funny, confrontational, even uncomfortable. So if Grok 3.5 was playing it too safe, too robotic, too similar to ChatGPT, then in Musk's eyes, it's not ready. And that raises a much bigger point. Elon isn't rushing Grok 3.5 to market just to compete. He wants it to be disruptive. He wants it to change the way we view chatbot intelligence, not as helpful assistants, but as sharp, unfiltered thinkers. So delaying it a week, that's not a step back. It's a calculated pause, because Musk knows something OpenAI and Google often forget. You only get one shot at shaking the world. And if Grok 3.5 doesn't shock people when it lands, it's not worth releasing yet. The real question is, what exactly went wrong behind the scenes? Is this just a performance issue, or is Musk reprogramming Grok's entire personality? Let's dig deeper in Chapter 3. Let's decode Elon's words too rough around the edges. Sounds simple, right? But in the world of AI, especially at the bleeding edge, that phrase can mean a hundred different things. So what's likely going on under the hood with Grok 3.5? Well, first off, 
Grok isn't just learning how to answer questions. It's being trained to understand intent, emotion, and contradiction in real time across multiple formats like text, voice, and even images. We're talking about a multimodal AI that needs to seamlessly analyze sarcasm, decode memes, hold complex philosophical debates, and still tell a joke that lands. And that's hard. One slip in tuning and Grok starts hallucinating false facts. One tweak too far and it starts sounding robotic. Too much sarcasm, it comes off rude. Too little, it loses its edge. Now imagine trying to balance that across millions of prompts per day, many of which are chaotic, controversial, or deeply personal. That's the kind of rough edge Musk might be referring to. Insiders say Grok 3.5 is aiming for real-time inference, meaning it can form answers not just from pre-trained data, but on-the-fly logic. That's a huge leap from traditional LLMs that rely heavily on static patterns. But that also means the model can misfire in weird, unpredictable ways. It might sound brilliant in one response, then totally miss the mark in the next. It could pass a Turing test at 3 p.m., then offend a user at 5. And for Musk, who wants Grok to represent the future of free-thinking AI, that's unacceptable. So instead of pushing out something half-baked just to meet the hype train, he's pulled the brakes. Think of it like launching a rocket. You don't press the button until every system is checked, aligned, and locked in. Because if Grok 3 and 5 launches with errors, it won't just be embarrassing. It'll be ammunition for every critic who said Grok could never compete with ChatGPT or Gemini. Bottom line? This delay isn't about a glitch. It's about perfection. Because Musk doesn't just want Grok 3.5 to be functional. He wants it to make history. And that brings us to the bigger picture how this delay shifts the entire AI battlefield. Let's break that down in Chapter 4. At first glance, a one-week delay might not seem like a big deal. But in today's AI arms race, every day counts. Here's why Elon's Grok 3.5 delay has ripple effects far beyond XAI. First off, let's talk momentum. In AI, hype is a currency. The faster you release, the faster you capture headlines, mindshare, and most importantly, developer loyalty. ChatGPT, Gemini, Claude, they're all releasing updates at lightning speed. Gemini 2.5 just dropped major upgrades in coding. Claude is now tapping into real-time web search. And OpenAI's next big reveal is literally days away. So when Grok 3 and 5 misses its target release, it doesn't just fall behind, it lets rivals jump ahead. Second, this delay feeds doubt. Grok has always branded itself as the rogue AI, uncensored, unfiltered, unpredictable. But if 3.5 isn't ready, People start asking, is Grok actually better? Or is it just marketing smoke and mirrors? Can Musk's team at XAI really compete with trillion dollar giants like Google and Microsoft? Those questions spread fast and they hurt adoption. Investors also take note, XAI raised billions last year. And part of that excitement was built around rapid innovation. A delay, even a short one, gives the impression that things aren't going as smoothly as planned behind the scenes. Now let's talk about user trust. Musk has one of the most loyal fan bases on the planet, but even his biggest supporters have been waiting for Grok to catch up or surpass ChatGPT. So when Musk tweets a delay, expectations double. The next release has to be perfect. No bugs, no filter fails, no mid-responses that go viral for the wrong reasons. And finally, here's the wild card. This delay might actually pressure OpenAI, Google, and others to go even harder. If they sense weakness, they'll speed up, release more features, steal the spotlight. So what looks like a small delay might be the spark that reignites the entire AI war. And that puts even more pressure on Grok 3.5's launch to be not just good, but game-changing. Which leads us to one final question. What is Grok 3.5 actually promising that makes it worth the wait? Let's break it down in Chapter 5. All right, now let's answer the million-dollar question. Why is everyone so obsessed with Grok 3.5? What makes this update so different from what we've already seen with ChatGPT, Gemini, and Claude? Here's the deal. Grok 3.5 isn't just aiming to be faster or smarter. It's designed to be bolder. Where ChatGPT might play it safe, Grok is being built to push boundaries. And that comes with some massive expectations. Let's start with the core upgrades we've been teased about. Real-time logic generation. Unlike most LLMs that rely heavily on static memory and internet references, Grok 3.5 aims to generate insights from first principles. That means fewer copy-paste answers and more original thought. 
sarcasm, and emotional intelligence, Grok isn't just trained to understand jokes. It's being trained to make them and deliver them with tone, edge, and human-like rhythm. No other AI is doing this at Grok's level. Multimodal fusion. We're talking seamless switching between text, voice, image, and maybe even video understanding. Imagine asking Grok to describe a meme, analyze its cultural impact, and generate a remix, all in real time. Personality tuning. Elon Musk doesn't want Grok to sound like an assistant. He wants it to sound like a thinker, a digital brain with a worldview, attitude, and sometimes sarcasm that bites. But here's the wildest part. Grok 3.5 may be the first AI model to include truth inference without relying on the web. That means it could form opinions and argue positions without quoting Wikipedia or Reddit. In Musk's words, Grok 3.5 should be able to construct logical truths that aren't found on the internet. And that, that's not just an upgrade. That's a philosophical shift in how we define intelligence in machines. So yes, the delay is disappointing. But if Grok 3.5 delivers on even half of what it's aiming for, it could redefine what we expect from chatbots and spark a whole new era of rebellious human-like AI. But one question remains, will Elon actually deliver? Or is Grok 3.5 destined to become the Tesla Cybertruck of AI? All hype delayed forever. Either way, we'll be watching and we'll be the first to break it when it drops. So here we are, a single tweet, a one-week delay, and suddenly, the entire AI world is holding its breath. This isn't just about Grok 3.5. This is about what kind of future we're building. Do we want safe, polished corporate AIs that say the right things? Or do we want bold, unpredictable minds that challenge us, push boundaries, and maybe even make us uncomfortable? Elon Musk isn't just building a chatbot. He's building a digital rebel. A machine that doesn't follow the rules because it wasn't designed to. And that's what makes Grok 3.5 dangerous and historic. Because if it works, it won't just compete with ChatGPT. It will shatter the way we interact with machines. No more robotic assistants, no more sterile answers. Grok is aiming to be the first AI that feels like a mind. But make no mistake, the clock is ticking. OpenAI, Google, and Anthropic aren't slowing down. Gemini is getting smarter. Claude's learning the internet and GPT-5 is lurking just around the corner. So Grok 3.5, it can't just be better. It has to be a revolution. And that's what makes this delay so electrifying. Because now, the world is watching. Subscribe right now. If you want to be the first to know when Grok 3.5 drops, if you want exclusive breakdowns of AI battles, leaks, features, and future tech that actually matters, then you're in the right place. Hit that bell. Drop your predictions in the comments. Will Grok 3.5 shock the world? Or will it get buried by ChatGPT and Gemini? We're about to find out. This is the calm before the AI storm. And Grok 3.5 is either going to change the game or become the biggest what-if in AI history. See you in the next update. And until then, stay sharp, stay curious, and never stop questioning the machine.